Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a iPad that has a black screen. You're trying to reboot it using a power button, you're pressing and holding, and it's not rebooting, it's not turning on, you just see a completely black screen. I'm gonna give you guys two ways where you can get this up and running right now, okay? So it's very, very simple. Now both of these iPads are already fixed, okay? But let's just pretend that this one has a black screen, okay? So you see nothing on the screen. What you wanna do is do a two key combination. You wanna press and hold two buttons simultaneously until you see the Apple logo appear. And it's gonna be the home button and the power button, okay? So follow along with me, okay? So two buttons simultaneously, ready? One, two, three, press and hold. Continue to hold, pretend that my screen is black, you don't see nothing on the screen. Just keep holding on to it until we see that Apple logo appear. I'm still holding on, okay, now I'm gonna let go. And now hopefully your iPad should be up and running, it'll boot into the actual iOS. The thing is, if it didn't work um, the first time, go ahead and give it like five more tries. Sometimes it took me like five or six tries until it finally came up. Now the thing is, if you try it like up to six times and it still doesn't work, then I want you to try this. Go ahead and plug your iPad in, give it, give it power. Doesn't matter if you have the newer generation where it uses this kind of lightning uh, plug or if you have even an older one that takes this kind of uh, plug here. The thing that you wanna do is go ahead and plug the USB part into a wall adapter or in your wall or even in your laptop, it doesn't matter. Just give it juice, okay? And go ahead and plug the other end into your actual iPad here. And then what you wanna do is wait 10 minutes. Go ahead and let the um, iPad get some extra juice. Wait 10 minutes, then come back and do the same thing again, okay? So remember, home button, power button. One, two, three, press and hold. Continue to hold both of these buttons and wait till you see the Apple logo. Just wait, just wait. You might have to wait up to a minute. Okay, go ahead and let go. And now your iPad should be up and running. The thing is, if it still didn't work with it plugged in, Go ahead and try it five or six more times. And, it, and the thing is, if it still didn't work, comment below because I have some other tricks too that you can use with, I, uh, with iTunes and stuff like that. But like most of you guys are going to get your iPads up and running just by this um, double key combination, which is basically a forced restart. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope that helped you guys out. I'll see you in the